follow. In the given figure, we have a rectangle with the sides 4 and 4 square root of 3. Inside, we have an inscribed circle and the diagonal of the rectangle crosses this circle at points A and B. Then, what is the length of the line segment AB? Notice that AB represents a chord of this circle. To find the chord of a circle, we need to know the radius of this circle and the perpendicular distance from the center to the chord. The radius of the circle is 2 because it is half of 4, but what about this distance? To find it, first we will connect the center to this point of tangency. Again, the radius here is 2, and this angle is a right angle because a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. Now, we will also connect the center to the upper right vertex of the rectangle. And now we have an isosceles right triangle, and this angle measures 45 degrees. In this triangle, each of the legs is 2 units, and we can find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's call the hypotenuse x, and we will write that x squared equals 2 squared plus 2 squared. So, down here I will write x squared equals 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is 8. Then to find x, we will take square root of 8, and we can write 8 as a product of 4 and 2, and square root of 4 is 2, so x equals 2, square root of 2. So, we just found x, and it is 2, square root of 2. Now, notice that x represents the hypotenuse of this triangle, and it also represents the hypotenuse of this yellow triangle. Using this triangle, we could find this perpendicular distance. Let's call it y. And now, let's talk about this acute angle. Notice that this diagonal divides the whole rectangle into two right triangles. Now, take a look at the sides of this triangle and notice that this is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And this is because in such a triangle, if the shorter leg is x, the longer one will be x square root of 3 and the hypotenuse 2x. In our triangle, the shorter leg is 4, the longer leg is 4 square root of 3, therefore, this angle is a 60 degree angle. And if this whole angle is 60 degrees and this one is 45, then this yellow angle will be 15 degrees. And now, once we know this angle, we can use the sine function to find y. First, we will write that sine of 15 degrees equals the opposite y divided by the hypotenuse 2 square root of 2. So, sine of 15 degrees equals y divided by 2 square root of 2. Then we solve for y and we write that y equals 2 square root of 2 times sine of 15 degrees. And for now, let's keep the answer in this form. Now, it's important to mention that a perpendicular to the chord bisects this chord. This means that this distance is the same as this distance. And let's call each of them z. Now, once we know why, in this orange triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find z. So, we will write that z squared plus y squared equals r squared. Then, we will replace y with 2 square root of 2 sine of 15 degrees all squared equals r, which is 2 squared. Then here, 2 squared is 4, square root of 2 squared is 2, so 4 times 2 will be 8, 
And now we will have z squared plus 8 sine squared of 15 degrees equals 4. Then z squared equals 4 minus 8 sine squared of 15 degrees and z equals square root of 4 minus 8 sine squared of 15 degrees. Now here we can use a calculator or we can simplify without a calculator. For this we will need the double angle formula for cosine. The formula is cosine of 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. To be able to apply this formula inside the square root first we will factor out 4. So we will have z equals square root of 4 times 1 minus 2 sine squared of 15 degrees. Then square root of 4 will be 2. But on this part we will apply the double angle formula. We will replace 1 minus 2 sine squared of 15 degrees with cosine of 30 degrees. So now we will have z equals 2 square root of cosine of 30 degrees. So just like in this formula this angle will double. Now if we use the unit circle then cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Now we can simplify this more by applying a few more steps. First we will write 2, then we will write a quotient of 2 radicals. In the numerator we will have square root of square root of 3 and in the denominator square root of 2. Then we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by another square root of 2. And now z equals 2 times and now if we write the product of these two radicals as a single radical then we will have square root of 2 square root of 3. In the denominator square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So we will write all this over 2 and then 2 and 2 will cancel and now z will be equal to square root of 2 square root of 3. Now the chord AB is 2z so AB equals 2z and this is 2 square root of 2 square root of 3 or this is approximately 3.72 units. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Please give me a like, write a comment and thank you for watching.